So ISIS is open every day except Thursday. So you can choose from 9 yeah. o'clock until 7 p.m. of two hours per session. Sorry. All right. Thank you, Miss Lynn. Ah, Miss Lynn, I have ano, I have question. I meron ba akong student na hindi Filipino? Ah, uh, may iba kasi dito na join for ano, um trial class. Miss Sania, I think ay uh, yeah, Miss Sania is um not a Filipino. Uh, Miss Sania, are you there? Miss Sania. If I'm not mistaken, Miss Ania is one of our um, accounting students. Hmm. Yes. So, uh, all right. So, I have to speak in English. Um, actually, they are siblings, Ania and Samir. Yeah. I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Lynn. Thank you so uh, much. All right. So, guys, so we have to speak in English if in case we have students, foreign students that don't know how to, uh, you know, recognize Tagalog. Okay? All right. So, um, these are the uh, basic requirements. You must be professional in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. As we all, as we're going to use this in our business proposal writing, presentation, and then for the assignment. All right. And... Of course, a burning desire to improve your career. If you wanted to apply for a certain position, let's say you wanted to improve your career, you wanted to be part of the corporate, so this is perfect course for you to use it as credential for um, your future career. And for the course requirements, um, this one, attendance, as I have mentioned a while ago, it's important for you to log your attendance. Later on, I'll be checking your attendance as well. Recitation. Uh, every recitation, there's a plus point. Every um, every um, excellence that you did in our class, there's a plus point. Individual and group exercises. And then examination. Don't worry about examination. I'll be having free review cl- class. So you can uh, re- uh, you may you will have an idea what are possible uh what are the possible types of exam? What are how many items? And what are the coverage of the exam? So for our grading system, 40% for major examination, 20% for quizzes, recitation assignments, for a total of 100%. Okay. So I want you to be guided with this etiquette. Okay, 14 principles that that could help you. So be on time, wear proper attire, choose a good location that is away for distraction and interruption during class so that you can focus on our class. And then mute yourself if you experience unavoidable background noise. Be ready to take notes, especially we have quizzes that it's not part of PowerPoint probably, but it's part of my discussion. And Participate in our discussion through recitation or uh, or uh, asking questions. Don't dominate the discussion, meaning uh, you're too much talkative. And then be more careful with your words, especially uh, profanity words or bad words. And then review your notes and recording later so you can uh, review for our uh, quiz or assignment. Keep up with all the assignments. Check your emails, okay? especially if I'm going to send emails or announcement. Uh, from time to time, check the WhatsApp, okay? WhatsApp group. If you are not uh, yet part of our chat group, please uh, let me know. I will send again my number, my WhatsApp number, Rosemary, for a while. Okay, so I have already provided my number a while ago, but I will again provide it so that you can send me a message and I'll add you to our JC. Or you can contact me, uh, you can contact your student assistant or student consultant to 
uh, request to add you in our group chat. Okay, so check your emails regularly. Do ask questions, especially if uh, there are gray areas. Let's say you can't understand. Mom, I cannot understand things. Can you explain to me? Or something like that. And then, apologize for any accidental breach of etiquette. Or let's say, for example, um, you unmute your microphone accidentally and it ruins the class because of the noise. So, you can, uh, you can apologize to the class if necessary. So, career options. Okay, so... Uh, once you receive your certificate, okay, uh, you can, you have, a, uh, actually, you have a variety of options for your career. Uh, you can apply for certain positions, just like, these are the top only, okay, top uh, career options, just like being a receptionist, okay? So, being a receptionist, uh, this is a phase of the office, so you must have at least a communication skills, customer service skills, strong organizational skills, and um, the responsibility actually of the receptionist is to manage front office, to greet clients. So if you are greeting clients, you must wear smile always. Can I see smile? <laughs> All right. You know the smile is the beautiful or the best makeup that you can wear if you know how to smile if even though you don't have makeup you're beautiful okay so you, you wear smile in filipino it's it's libre naman it's free for us to smile and there is always reason for us to smile and to be grateful and also um uh wear your confidence as the best accessory you you have your smile and you have your um confidence that's a powerful uh, skill that you can show to your client as a receptionist and also in, in any job if you wear a smile you know you you spread good vibes okay next is administrative assistant or aa so administrative assistant or aa covers a wide variety of tasks and it is in demand so just like receptionist it's in demand nowadays so um, there are a lots of uh, there are a lots of uh, companies who are looking for receptionist and administrative assistant. So the the role of administrative assistant is um uh depending on the business requirements. So uh, you are going to prepare uh your file the documents, your writing, um your writing business letter, your receiving um letters on behalf of your team. So something like that. And then next is personal assistant and executive assistant, PA and EA. So for PA uh, and PA. EA, so for PA and EA, uh, you're going to assist executive. So let's say, for example, you apply for a position executive assistant, you're assisting president, vice president, so something like that. And then the role of this one is to, of course, support or assist the executive, okay, the vice president, the president, or the CEO. And then you have to know how to schedule tasks, activities, yeah. so uh, organize, arrange meetings. And those are the things that we can, that we are going to cover during our discussion. And believe it or not, once you receive your certificate, you can immediately apply for office manager. Actually, during our free orientation class, I have heard that there are classmates, your classmates that already, uh, that already for a managerial post. They are, they are, they they wanted to, uh, be in that position, but they wanted to gather or acquire some knowledge about office. So I'm glad that there are that we have classmates that already in a managerial position. So you can also be in a managerial position after you receive the certificate you can apply you can try um the the duties and responsibilities of office manager is to um they are responsible for effective and efficiently running the business if you hear the word manager actually um sorry if you are hearing the word manager it means that you are handling people. You manage people. So you know how to deal with uh, different 
behavior, different attitude of your subordinates or your colleagues. So that's one, uh, that's one leadership skills that we have to, uh, know or we have to learn. Okay. Next is quick tour in portal. So a while ago, I have, I have shown you already the portal, but now I'll discuss parts. Once you log in your credentials, you must have if you are officially enrolled, guys, please take note that um, I will be giving you or our, or our assistant will give you. I will meet you for a while. Okay, so if you are officially enrolled, okay, um, you will be given a username and password. Okay, if you don't have the username or password today, you can send me message. Okay, so I can provide you the username and password. Okay. So you can see, as you can see, there are tiles. This is what we call tiles, okay? This one. This one is tiles, the tile, and tile. So boxes, okay, is, is what we call tiles. Okay, so here, you can, uh, once you enter our portal, you will see this surf or interface. And then you will click this attendance. You will see the link for attendance. And this in this Zoom record, once you click this one, you will see the recorded sessions, live recorded sessions. And other parts, this one up until this one, the last tile, is tantamount to our topics, okay? Our office management topics, such as office management and secretarial skills, office professional in organization, this one, customer service, Time management, business correspondence, meeting arrangement, excuse me, travel arrangement, communication, records management and filing system, and um, Microsoft Outlook, job interview. This is very interesting topic, you know, job interview. Because uh, we will be having a workshop. I will interview you just like an interview and interviewee and interviewer session role play we will be having role play as well together with your classmates so you are uh, you will experience how to interview or how to be interviewed by your classmates so something like that partners uh, in a breakout room okay so and we have also introduction to financial management um we're going to use excel here uh how to compute for uh three important financial statements such as cash flow, balance sheet, and income statement. Okay. And then, all right. So this is what you can see if you click attendance. Okay, attendance. So you will click here the link. And then, next, if you click Zoom, Zoom, this one, you will see days. Okay. So uh, probably on Wednesday, or Tuesday, I will I will notify you that. Or all right, so I already uploaded day one, so you can click day one, okay. And then there's the August thirteen, August thirteen date, so you can review, you can watch the video, okay. All right, next is. So we have also, if you click this one, the third tile, you will see here the lecture notes. Our lecture notes are downloadable and it could be, you could also print the lecture note. So you don't need to go to our office to look for work, workbook or, um, what's that? The, uh, booklet because we have here in our portal. It's all, it's, uh, complete. Actually, it's already complete. Uh, materials are complete here. So you can easily download or print or even, um, save it into your files. So there are uh, here notes, PowerPoint, uh, AVP. AVP is the recorded. 15 minutes, probably 15 minutes to 20 minutes. You can watch it in advance. So you can also advance the topic. Um, this one, we have quiz here. I will inform you that, okay, guys, we have quiz for next week. I will, I will inform you ahead of time. And we have also assignment. Uh, by the way, our quizzes are... Uh, has time limit. The reason why um, we impose time limit for you not to, you know, cheat you, uh, for integrity purposes, okay? For uh, cheating purposes, something like that, for our um, 
mandate that uh, to assess if you really learn the lesson. And then um, assignment. So I will discuss every time that we have assignment. I will discuss how to do the assignment, what are the instructions to the assignment. So you are you are guided. Okay. Next. All right. So if you click the lecture note, lecture notes, you will see a, a, an interface like this. So here you can download this one or you can print. Okay. So you can save it in your files. Next. So this is the PowerPoint. Now I'm using PowerPoint day one. So you can also um, you can also uh, download the PowerPoint in advance. Okay. And for quiz, if you click quiz, you will see like this, attempt one. There's only one attempt. Okay. In Tagalog, isang try lang ang quiz natin. Kapag, kapag nabuksan ninyo, wala nang second try. Okay. So, you have to be keen on opening or clicking the quiz as um, probably, usually our quiz uh, is for good for one week. Okay? So, I will be giving you one week time to review, to, uh, to read our notes, and then before you take the quiz so that you ensure that you pass the quiz. Uh, our quiz is only 10 items and it is multiple choice, sometimes true or false. So that's easy, right? So um, that's for quiz. And quiz is uh, for 20%. So once the quiz is open, you will see this notification. This quiz is open on Saturday, something like that. And then the quiz will close on Monday. So you will be notified as well. Okay. Uh, let's say, for example, ma'am, I'm so busy and I have an emergency. I did not take the quiz, but it's already closed. You can, you can, ano, you can, um, uh, I can consider your, your, your circumstances as long as you inform me. As long as you send me message that you inform me about your situation. Okay? So, next is, alright. So, once you click attempt quiz now, so uh, let's go back. Once you click this one, the green one, when you click that one, you will see a message like this. So this quiz is time has a time limit, 10 minutes. 10 minutes for 10 items quiz. Okay? So once you are ready, you can click start attempt. Okay? If you are not ready, you can cancel and you take later on if you are ready na. Okay? And then... So this is the example of ano, question one. Question one. So there's question there. I I I hidden the question. Okay. The question is is in here, but I hide it. So question one, true or false? You click true or you click false. What do you, if you think that's the correct answer? And then you click next page. Okay. For the next question. Okay. So here you can see the quiz navigation. Okay. So, you can see if you answered already quiz 1, quiz 2, I mean, quiz question 1, question 2, until question 10. Okay? And, so you can see also the summary. Summary of your uh, question, uh, the answered uh, number. Let's say, let's say for example, you answered already 1, uh, question 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, until nine. But as you notice, question ten, you not you did not answer yet. So you you can go back. Okay, return to attempt if you still have time. Say okay. If you have time, there is seven minutes left. Imagine you have seven minutes left, so you can return. If you miss an item, okay, you can see not yet answered, so you can go back. But if you already finish, you can submit and finish. Okay? Next. Alright. So if you click submit and finish, you can click submit all and finish. If you're not yet sure and if you still have time, you can go back. You can click cancel and then you return to your quiz. Okay. So this is the assignment. Okay? So you have to listen, guys. I, uh, I am now um, discussing how to navigate the quiz assignment. 
So now, um, for the assignment, let's say, for example, assignment number one here. So in assignment number one, there are samples, okay? Example that you can uh, download for you to be guided. And there is the format, the form, this one. So you can download this one, okay, as the format. And I, I will also discuss this one before you submit. Okay, for the purpose of our, ano, how to submit the assignment, you can click Add Submission. Okay, let's say, for example, you are already done with the assignment, you have already the file, you click Add Submission, and then after you click Add Submission, you'll see like this. So, there is an option that you will upload. Okay, you can drop the file. If you know how to drop, drag and drop, you can drag and drop here. But if not, you click this one, the plus here. This one, okay? You click this one and then you upload your file. If you don't know how, I will meet you in Zoom one by one so I can teach you. Okay? But this one, um, you can click this one plus and then you locate the file. Okay? So, let's say, for example, you save it on your documents. Now, you look for choose file. Click choose file. Then, again, after you click this one, this one, the plus sign, the folder like that, uh, the file, plus file, you click choose file, and then it will directly go to your documents or downloads or what. So, you have to choose that file, and then you save it. So, let's say you choose already the file. You will see here, it will be reflected here that you submitted the file. Okay? Again, if you are still, it's still not, if it's still not clear to you, I will teach you how. Okay? Just let me know that you are um, having, a, having a trouble or difficulties on submitting the assignment. Okay? Next, so getting to know... Okay, so for those who aren't who who did not attend our class, I will um I will introduce myself to you and later on you will introduce yourself but with a twist. Okay? So uh, we still have time pa naman so we can have an activity. All right. So for my background educational background. So I am a graduate of business uh, business Administration, major in Marketing Management. I graduated Master in Business Administration. I am certified Lean Six Sigma Yellow Belt. And I do have um, professional teaching certification. And I am now hopefully to graduate Doctor in Business Administration to improve my teaching. Okay, And then for my work involvement, this one, as I am, uh, I am telling you a while ago, I've been in... I've been an executive assistant in a government agency in the Philippines for uh, more than two years. So I am assisting uh, VP. I am assisting manager there. So I have experience of being an assistant or a secretary as well. So I am also, I have experience in multinational company as a business process associate who's processing in investment or insurance. And then I am university professor. I am teaching college students. And then also here I am a management instructor in ICSA for three years. I'm uh, more or less three years. Okay. So now it's your turn. Okay. But before that, um, I'll show you what are the things that you need to discuss. Okay. So, um, please. Uh, take a screenshot or take a picture of this so that you know what are the things that you need to take into consideration when you are talking to your uh, group mates. I will group you later on, okay? So, you have to state your name, where you're from, your hobbies and interests, uh, your greatest strength and weakness, at least one word, okay? And then your goals, why you enroll here. Okay, so let me start. Okay, I'll start. So, my name is Jessica Sintos Pagulayan. Actually, I recently got married last December. So, my, my surname is Pagulayan. Uh, and then, um, I am from Novaliches, Quezon City, Philippines. And my hobbies are 
singing, frustrated singer, <laughs> frustrated dancer. Uh, I've been in the tri- theater before, craftsmanship, watching movies. I love to watch movies. And my greatest strength, I think I am passionate for details. I am organized. And I want things to be in my calendar, according to my calendar. And my weakness is, I am proud. Um, in Tagalog, diretsya akong magsalita. Yun, yun, baka ganun yung Tagalog. And parang may pagkatakle sa minsan. But I am, ano, I am overcoming those weaknesses. So, uh, yun. Uh, I, am the type, I am the type of person that uh, I can say what I wanted to say. And I know that being frank um, on the other side is positive attitude, but I consider that as a weakness because um, being too frank sometimes being insensitive. Diba? Minsan, if you, if you straight, if you're straightforward, sometimes meron tayong na natatamaan na emotions. So we have to be careful. And my goal, my goal, why I am teaching here in ICSA because uh, teaching career is noble. Actually, if you if you finish a lot of degree, you can uh, no, you can apply in a certain job, in a lucrative job, probably managerial, probably a uh, president or CEO. But I chose to be teacher because um, teachers are selfless. Um, they they wanted to impart knowledge to students. We wanted to impart knowledge to students, and we wanted to um, we wanted to inspire students like you. So that I chose to be teacher because it's noble, it's selfless, and I want you to, I want to be part of your journey, how you succeed in your goal. And, um, and that's it. So nice meeting you, everybody. I hope you will, you'll turn later on to, uh, share your partners or your group mates, um, uh, background. So now I hope you have, you have the screenshot already. Okay. Because our activity, I will divide you in in probably three three members. So you will talk, you will talk there in a group, and then you're going to share your name, your background, your, your hobbies, your interests, where you're from, your strength, your know, and your goals. And then you will um you will introduce your teammates or your team members. Okay? So, one will introduce the other one and the other one will introduce the other one. Vice versa. Okay? So, I will give you probably 20 minutes. Is that okay? 20 minutes for you to, you know, talk to each other and get to know each other. Okay? And you will, again, yes, you are the one. Okay. So, you are the one, you are the one who's going okay. to introduce your group member. One group member per one member. Okay? So, let's start. Once there's a pop, uh, if there's a pop message, Mama, Mama, pwede magtanong? Yes. Paano po, paano po maano, paano po mag-group yung tatlo? E, nasa online tayo. Ikaw po mag-group, ikaw po mag-ano, yes, yes. mag- Okay po, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you just click join the breakout room. Okay, join group room one, room two. Okay, so I will. Create... Later on, you will see join group. Okay. 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 So okay. for a while, I'll I'll create a room. Options. Okay. And then for twenty minutes, probably. Okay. Uh, I'll open the room now. Hello po. 